honestly, we hype it up. We hype it up and we make it a big deal for the kids. Our team has reached 100,000 stickers. <laughs> Overall, my experience with First to Math, and I know my students' experiences, they're entertained, they're educated, they're challenged, and they're motivated to go on and do better things. The First in Math has really helped our curriculum because it supports what we're doing in the classroom. The technology portion of it really enhances the curriculum and it helps the kids focus on different skills that we might have not presented yet or we've already presented. You know, when you sit through grade level meetings with your teachers, most of the time you hear a common thing in math and it's that, you know, my students are really struggling with those basic facts or my students are struggling with problem solving. I mean, this is this is the attack and it does it in a, in, a, in a fun way that the kids really enjoy. You should do First in Math because it's really fun with the things you can do. You can focus on your goal index or you can reach goals. Like once you reach a certain amount of stickers, you rank up different levels. So at 10,000 stickers, you're a grand champion, which I'm a grand champion. So it's fun. The minute they hit that goal, they're either yelling across the room, hey, I did this, I did this, or they're over to show me. And I said, all right, I got to show it on my computer right away. So they're ready to, to receive it. And on Tuesdays, like we have our little first and last celebrations, they are happy to see their name on that screen with that award. Jody L finished his multiplication BIS also. Come on down, Jody L. I like Fuss and Math because it teaches you new things and <clears throat> it has a lot of games so you have a lot to pick. You are also our player of the week. <laughs> what I created for my students were quarterly checklists. So the four quarterly checklists break down the goals index. And what we do is at the end of each quarter, They've completed that, they're on their way to making 100% by the end of the year. When you have all of the components on the board every day for the kids to be looking at, they're going in and saying, oh, I want to get to my 100% as soon as I can. Some of the kids that are really struggling learners have been asking this year, some able learners, can you come help me and show me a strategy so I can get 100%? And I've never seen that before. So that's exciting. Every month, we will go out to our school-wide Hall of Fame and we will take our cards, every student has a card, and we will move it based on how many stickers they have. 8,068 stickers, that makes you a champion. Woo! Woo! All the way up here. We celebrate their successes, the small and the big. And that is the most important, that they need to realize that I know what they're doing and they're making those gains to what they need to do by the end of the year. So Mr. Phillips, uh, I call him my first in math guy. He leads our first in math days, so we meet with the staff uh, twice a year, and we meet with every grade level, and this includes support staff and specialists, and we talk about first in math, we talk about where we are with our goals index, we talk about where we are with VIFs, um, and it really helps us to so that everyone is talking the talk. For us as a staff, we've come together and we've had friendly competition because the whole goal is that if kids are talking about first to math at gym or if they're talking about an art class, that everybody's able to talk to them about it and get them motivated to keep going farther and do more. So if everybody has an idea of what the students should be working on, they can say, hey, I worked on that too, or hey, I just beat that. And you know, you, you build another relationship with the students. I'm always rooting for the underdog, and first in math really allows for every kid to have success. I'm really excited, you know, to keep moving forward with first in math. Over the last two years, we have seen a, a dramatic increase in our math scores, not only in first in math, but even in our standardized test scores, in our everyday math tests. Um, you know, our PSSA scores last year, um, from the 2018 to 2019, went up by 28 percent just in one year. And you know, I'm excited to see you know where that continues, and, and we're going to keep on keep on moving forward, and and you know, using first in math to really help us get 